CJ Wiley here with uh, some more adventures on the road. One of my uh, greatest mentors when I was uh, in my teenage years was uh, Omaha John. I met Omaha John uh, in Omaha. He was, uh, of course, the best player there, but he was a well-known road player. He was one of the best bar table players in the United States at the time. Generally, uh, David Matlock was considered the best, and there were other guys around, Fat Randy in Tulsa, Larry Hubbard, uh, a lot of you knew him, uh, who started the APA. He was actually one of the best bar table players in the country. And there was a few of them, but, but Omaha John, uh, he knew how to get the money. So we took a lot of trips together when I was uh, about 18 and ended up in uh, South Carolina, a little town called Bishopsville, and went in this bar, and there was this... Uh, guy that owned the bar was known to play anybody with the five and the break playing six ball. That means he gets to break every time and he wins with the five or the six. So uh, that was kind of a standard game. So I went in there and, uh, you know, we didn't really have to hustle the guy. We just declared ourselves as road players and uh, John let me play him, giving him the five and the break. And, uh, you know, I'd been having a lot of trouble the last few days. I'd, I'd been in some action, and, and I got ahead of the guys, and, and I just couldn't take them off. They, they'd get back and get even and quit, and, and we, you know, just weren't making the money that that John needed to make. You know, he had a family at home, and, uh, and I didn't, so it wasn't such a big deal to me, but, uh, you know, I felt bad because I, I just couldn't take people off, and uh, I just felt like I didn't have any heart, you know, and, that's a big thing, you know, when you're a pool hustler, especially, you know, a road player, that, you know, you've got to have a lot of heart because you've got to be able to uh, win against the best players in the country. And uh, you can bet one thing, they got a lot of heart. So anyway, I uh, started playing that game, and uh, again, I got ahead of him, and we started raising the bet, and I got about $2,000 up, and, uh, and then all of a sudden, I just... Man, I just couldn't run out. And I just, you know, I was sh shooting low percentage shots, and, and just my concentration wasn't good, and, and uh, you know, things were bothering me. So uh, John came up to me and he says, "Listen," he says, "I gotta make money out here." He says, "I'm not out here for my health." He says, uh, "Either you turn this around and, and so we can start winning some money," he said, "or, or I'm just gonna go back to Omaha." And, just, you know, you can go over wherever you want. That hit me pretty hard, so I was like, oh, man, you know. So I just took a break, went in the bathroom, and uh, looked myself in the mirror right in the eyes and said, it's now or never, CJ. If you're going to be a road player, if you're going to if you're gonna do it, you got to do it now. So, uh, you know, it, it seems like something just came over me, and I went out and got back in the game, and uh, I stopped shooting those low percent shots. I started, uh, you know, stopped spinning the ball so much and started hitting that dead ball like John did, you know, that touch of inside, and uh, just clicked and got in dead stroke and, and, I mean, just ran over the guy, and uh, we had raised the bet again, and Ended up beating him out of 6,000. So uh, we're putting our cues away and everything, and the guy's got his head down, and he goes over and sits at the bar, and, and uh, you know, we're starting to leave, and all of a sudden the guy jumps up and just runs at us. <laughs> and we, we ran too. We ran to the back of the bar, and uh, there was a door back there, and uh, and got through that door as quick as we could. I don't know what happened, if the guy, uh, uh, I don't know what he was gonna do. But uh, one thing about it was, the last couple days we'd been having trouble with John's car, and it was having trouble starting sometimes. And uh, so we got out that door and it's pouring down rain, and we, we both you know get in the car as fast as we can, and we both thought the same thing at the same time, and we looked at each other. John put the key in the ignition, turned it and it started <laughs> I guess if it wouldn't have started I don't know what we were going to do I was definitely not going to go back in that bar but anyway that's really when I uh, 
made a turning point, you know, and, and I really proved to myself that I had that heart that I needed to uh, be able to beat the players and the caliber of, uh, play the caliber of pool that I was going to have to the next few years, but I'll always remember that, you know, Omaha John really, you know, it was tough love. Sometimes you just got to have people tell you, you know, you know, it's now or never. And uh, I'll be forever thankful for John doing that. And uh, we got back together uh, a few times after that. I don't think I ever booked another loser. So anyway, uh, I learned a lot running around with these road players. You know, they just, they knew how to win and they were, uh, they were serious. And, uh, you know, if you want to uh, learn what I've learned, I want to help you. I've got a website now. It's a membership website. It's called MasteringPocketBillards.com. So if you go to that website and join, it's uh, a little bit less than $10 a month, but I'm going to have all my material on there. I'm going to keep uploading videos, and anytime you have a question, you just ask me, and I'm going to tell you. I want to help you reach your full potential and uh, give you the chance that I had it really doesn't exist anymore you know the day of the road player is pretty much over so anyway hope you enjoyed this cj wiley over and out